recently I've been completely obsessed with hardening incoming SSH into my server. And I'm just not happy with the way that it's still allowing connections in. Let's take a look at that. So I've got a very minimalistic PF configuration. It basically sets up fail to ban. It blocks everything coming in and then it unblocks stuff a bit further down. And it blocks stuff from SSH guard, fail to ban, and then it, a, a list of IP addresses that I like to stick in every now and then. Don't know why I do it like that, I just do. But there we go. And then I allow in the ports that I allow. So, what can I do? Well, the one thing that occurred to me that I don't do is any kind of rate limiting. So it's just dish, 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 dish. Apart from fail to ban and SSH guard, which kind of does rate limiting, it scores connections. So the more often it fails to authenticate, the higher the score, and then it goes into a table. But what about actually doing proper rate connection? Should I do that? I think I probably should. Let's um, let's see. So in my... Actually, let's have a quick look. So this is a, a, an allow. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out 522, which is my SSH port, and I'm going to set up a new rule. Let's see what actually happens here. Pass in on RE0, which is the, the NIC Proto TCP2 port 522. Keep state. Any overloads goes to a table called Brute Force. Yeah. So max connections, 15. Max connections. Right, so max source connections are 15, max source connection rate 3 over 1. Right, now I'm really hoping this doesn't kick me out. Okay, so now let's try logging in, make sure it works, and it still works. That's great. So there you go, SSH guard is working, attack from 122, blah 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 blah. blah. That's on postfix. And there you go, it's blocked it. Perfect. Two attacks in zero seconds after three abuses over, yeah. Cool. So that's doing what I want it to do, I think. So hopefully those limits will will start to, to go up a bit. Okay, so what else could I do? Well, the, I've been thinking about this a lot. And the other thing that I could actually do is just block all SSH connections apart from the IP address of my remote location. So my remote location is my home and my server is off-site. But for all intents and purposes, that off-site location is the on-site location. And I am off-site. So I could just go, my home IP address is the only SSH IP address. Could I do that? I probably could. Should I though? Because if I'm out and about, and I need to SSH, I'm a bit stuffed. And that also reminds me, I'm just going to release my video, because I completely forgot to do it. Yep, part two, public, publish, Badoom. Should have done that earlier. Should have done that at Corp State. Never mind. There we go, right, that's out. Life gets in the way as I mentioned before. So, that's a real question. Should I do that? By the way, that's something I'll have to think about, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm keeping 
the rate limit set I'm, I'm gonna keep that rule and uh, hello Uh oh Am I locked out? I think I might be locked out. <laughs> well, either that or my server has gone down. Oh no, it's back. I don't know what happened there. Let's have a quick look at the logs and see what happened. See, it's gone again. Is this because of rate limiting myself? Is that what I've done? Software calls connectionable. I wonder if that's what I've done then. I may have to re examine that rule and redefine it I suspect that's what's doing it I'd forgotten that was there so I'm going to have to <laughs> uh, love it when stuff goes wrong so I'm going to have to look at that a bit more in depth aren't I yeah it's not there anymore is it well no that's interesting yeah alright okay so I think what was happening there then was probably that I'd put myself into the brute force. <laughs> yeah. So if that's the case, I need to think about that a bit more, don't I? Yeah, well, that didn't work quite as I'd wanted. Mm. Also, I also forgot to put that in as well. I mean, that may, may well have been the reason. So let's try that again then, but with that. Should we give that a go? We give it a go. I don't have a problem with that. As long as I can still get to my web configuration, which I can by the seams of things, should be all right. Right, so if I'm gonna, I wanna show what's in that table. So let's do that pfctl scroll all the way down the bottom it was near there but it right what was it called right so there's nothing in that still nothing in it that's good yeah i think actually it is because <laughs> i forgot to define the table there are other stuff that i can do with this like for instance i could use goip to actually list where all these attacks are coming from and then block countries. That would be quite an interesting way to go. I quite like the idea of that and I might explore that at another point. Yeah, I might do that. Don't know yet. Let's see how this um, this bit goes. Um, yeah, I like the look of that. There was something else I saw. Where was it? Was it on this one? There was something else there that looked really good. That's annoying. Don't you just hate it when you have something open and then you can't find it? We'll, we'll leave it there for now, I think, because I think that that seems to be working now. Yeah, it's working now, and it's because I didn't didn't define that table. Working with PF can sometimes be a bit of a hit and miss thing. When you get it, and you get it, when it's set up really well, it's it's just one of those things you can set up and forget about, and that's great love it when that happens any kind of set up and forget i'm all for i'm a fan of when you see something that looked really good and then you forget about where it was that's really annoying i wonder if it's all right let's have one one last look i think it might have been one of these let's have a look 24 hours later that's annoying never mind um <laughs> I've got ray limiting, so we'll see how that goes. Because I'm getting fed up of seeing people attacking. Leave it there for today. Drop a comment. And uh, any of you BF experts, and I'm sure there are plenty of you out there. Just drop a comment and let me know what you think. Um, there was something that was really elegant. and I... <laughs> Right. Leave it there. Definitely leave it there. Yeah, drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you find it useful. Rate limiting can be a great thing if you set it up right, which I think I have now got. 
we'll see. Don't forget to subscribe. Discord servers in the in the links in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.